couple of weeks ago I made this video about the PC and the gaming mode on the LG CX and why you don't need, in my opinion, the PC mode. I received a couple of comments, of course, from people that claiming that they have more banding issues in the gaming mode over the PC mode. So I couldn't verify this uh, back then because for me the PC mode and the gaming mode looks exactly the same till yesterday. So welcome back to my channel Armok for All and before we start a uh, few words from our sponsor today, myself. So this video is sponsored by myself so if you would like to support me do me a big favor and subscribe to my channel. Make sure you leave me a like and a comment of course uh, what you think about the video and the topic today. And now we start. And I found something very interesting when I started playing Hitman 3 on the Xbox Series X. Okay, so and I moved my camera very close to the TV that I can actually show you what we're talking about. So this is Hitman 3 on the Xbox Series X. At the moment in, let me bring up the menu, um, 120 hertz, RGB, 10 bit and of course 4K. So what I found yesterday when I started this game, I found this bending, 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 bending. And I'm not talking about my vertical um, issues from the, from the LG when I'm moving around. This is unfortunately an issue what my TV has. This is a hardware issue, not, not the thing what we're talking about today. I'm talking about this bending issue here, what you can see here and hopefully when I'm moving around, then you should clearly see uh, this um, color tone gradation or yeah, I think that's the right name. Or we just call it bending, bending issue, okay? So this is, in my opinion, what people complaining about, and I can fully understand when people seeing this, that they're complaining about this, because yesterday when I started the PlayStation 5 version, this was not an issue at all. The picture was absolutely great. And if you watched my video yesterday, I told you I started with the PlayStation 5 version because I, or the uh, Xbox version was still downloading. So after download was finished, I started this, um, game on the Xbox and I was really shocked about this picture quality because this is terrible. Um, but of course I found something and people claiming of course they're turning on the PC mode and this problem is gone. So let's do this. So right now we are in HDMI mode and I think it was HDMI 2. I'm not sure about this anymore. Let's see what's happening. Mm, yeah, it looks like it was correct. Color bending is completely gone, okay? Completely gone. There is no color bending at all anymore. And we're still in the same, I'll just bring it up here. We are still in the same 120 Hertz RGB 10 bit 4K. So there is no color bending, but you can see clearly my nice vertical issues. Vertical bending, I wouldn't call it. What was the right name? I, I forgot. Anyway, that's not the topic today. Um, Color bending is completely gone. So now, of course, we can say, oh, yeah, see, I told you, Marcus, we need to force the TV and to PC mode to get the best picture quality. Um, but I found a little bit more. So it's not that easy and it has nothing to do with the PC mode. So let's check this out. Okay, so I closed Hitman. And what we're doing also, we're going back to the gaming mode. Here we're changing this back to HDMI, which activate the game mode again and not the PC mode. So and now what we're doing, we're going into settings, we go to TV and we're changing this one to 60 Hertz. Okay. We keep the refresh rate of course. So now I just like to show you something on the menu here. Now we have um, YCPCR 420 10 bit, which is a much worse picture signal or yeah, display signal than RGB. That's the worst picture signal what you can have actually, okay? So I would not recommend to play in this, but to prove a point, uh, that's the thing what we're doing now. And I like to uh, do this in real time because uh, I don't want that people, yeah, starting, starting claiming that I'm doing something in the background. So we just wait till this is loaded. And I just bring up the menu again here. So freezing information, we are still in 420. This is HDR by the way. And HDR has also a big impact on this, what I'm showing you today. And just press play, it takes some time. We can talk about the weather in the meantime. So just now for your information, FreeSync is now, it's 
deactivated since a couple of days, weeks already, because there's no benefit for me on the Xbox uh, with this. And we have 60 Hertz at the moment and 420 or 420 YCPCR, which is again, the worst signal what you can have. And if you now yeah, listen to people that are saying, hey, we need to force the PC or the, the LG in to uh, 444 to get the best picture quality, to not have bending and so ever, then we should expect at least some bending here or, and there is nothing at all. This picture is just great. So just tell me if you can see any bending and I'm not talking about my bloody vertical bending from the, from the LG CX, which drives me nuts in a game like this when you have uh, yeah, this gray background. So may maybe when I'm, when I'm looking very closely, I can see some color gradation here. Maybe very, very, very tiny, but I'm, I'm or minor, but I'm not sure if this is not the same when we when we changing this back to RGB. But I think you confirm with me that right now, with 420, 10-bit, there is no bending at all. And just keep in mind, we are in gaming mode. We are not in the PC mode. This is the gaming mode with the worst signal from the Xbox ever, what you can send to a TV, and we have no bending at all. So let me change this back again to prove a point. Okay, so we are here again and I close the game again and we change this to 120 hertz. And we're going back into the game. We just have a look on our freezing information. I just bring it up on the right spot and I hope my camera will catch everything here. So we have now again 120 hertz, RGB 10 bits. So RGB is the best video signal besides 444, YCPCR 444. It's just the best video signal, the best what you can send to a TV, okay? Right now we're still in gaming mode, which means the TV is um, trans or um, you're changing the signal from RGB or 444 to 422, okay? So still much better than 420, by the way. But to get uh, RGB or 444, we need to change, of course, into the PC mode. But let's have a look again, because now we have back this terrible banding. So, and then we do something and I will show you, this has something to do with HDR as well. So now this terrible banding is back. But just keep in mind, before we did the test, we, have, we had 420, which is a war signal and there was no bending at all. So this is not an input or a, uh, how should I say, not a PC versus gaming mode issue, or it is what I was thinking, but we talk about this later. This is, yeah, this has nothing to do with the quality from the video signal, what, what the Xbox is sending. Uh, this is something I, yeah, I don't understand at the moment. Okay, so let me show you something and we do this in real time just to make sure that no one or everybody can see what I'm doing here. So we go back to TV and video and we disabling HDR, okay? So you can see we're still in 120 hertz in RGB uh, 10 bit. There is no change at all. So, but there is a big change because now when we waiting for the loading, I can already tell you there is no bending at all. It is gone. It is completely fine now. So, what is the gaming mode doing that we have such a bad bending? So, my problem is here that I never expect uh, experienced this before. I'm not sure if this is caused uh, due to a recent firmware update because I can't prove this anymore. I'm not sure if I just didn't see it back then and it is already there since I bought the TV and I was just not looking at the right spot or at the right game or I didn't do enough testing, which also can be because back then when I made the video, I didn't see this. Can you see this? There is no banding at all. So this is SDR at the moment. This is no HDR anymore. And this is perfect, the picture, there's no bending at all. And ignore my vertical bending from the bloody LG, this is really driving me crazy. Anyway, bending is absolutely gone and this has nothing to do in my opinion. Okay, don't get me wrong, it has something to do with the gaming mode versus PC mode of course, because in the PC mode there is no bending at all. As soon you turn on HDR or 120 Hertz, 
you have bending in the gaming mode. And this is regardless of Xbox, PlayStation 5 or PC. Okay, and we are back with Tomb Raider on the PC in 120 Hertz in the game mode. And just have a look on this terrible bending on the sky. It looks absolutely awful. And of course, when we change this now into the PC mode, and we do this now, then the bending is gone as well. So. Here, yeah, perfect. Now the sky looks really, really nice. You have maybe a little bit of color gradation or bending here, but it's it's actually more like a maybe compressing issue because because they're not using a very high or yeah texture or whatever. But it is much less color bending. Okay, so let's change this back to HDMI to test a little bit. And that's why I'm doing this test now on the PC because it's so much easier to change between resolutions and Hertz and whatsoever. And now let's change this to, oh no, let, I'll just show you this again here, 120 Hertz now without uh, PC mode, it looks absolutely awful. So it looks like a PlayStation 2 game. And now we're changing this to 60 Hertz. And now the bending is gone completely. It is so nice. Now you can see uh, different clouds and yeah, different uh, yeah, brightness of clouds. It looks really nice now. And uh, the freezing information, by the way, is, wait, I bring this up here, um, RGB 10 bit for both modes. So even in the 120 Hertz mode, there is no difference thanks to HDMI 2.1. So we're changing this. You see RGB 10 bit and 120 Hertz as well. So this PC is doing exactly the same behavior as the Xbox, as the PlayStation 5 and as the Xbox Series X. So there's no difference. It's not the TV. It's nothing. It's something I don't understand yet. Okay, time to summarize my video and I still don't know what the issue is here really. Um, I mean, I proved the point that in HDR, and or 120 Hertz on the Xbox Series X and also on the PC and on the S and on the PlayStation 5. So the reason why I, I didn't show the PlayStation 5 because I just have one game where you can switch in the game between uh, 120 Hertz and 60 Hertz, Borderlands 3. And it's very hard on this screen to see more bending, but there is also more bending in 120 Hertz. But it's very hard to show on the camera. With those games I showed you with the um, gray background, it is very easy to show, of course. So again, 120 Hertz and when HDR is activated, then we have color bending and we have massive color bending in the gaming mode on this game and not just in this game, it's in every game of course, but we just tested this game. Um, as soon you disable HDR or 120 Hertz, the color bending is gone. So you don't need to force into PC mode, but you can leave all of this on. And of course you can force the TV into PC mode and it is also gone. But we also proved a point that when we're using um, the 60 Hertz mode, the TV, the um, output from the Xbox is 420 instead of RGB. And even in 420, we haven't had, we have seen a little bit bending because of 4 to 0, because it's a really worse signal, of course. But compared to RGB, it was nothing. And you would think that on 4 to 0, you have massive bending. On an RGB, the picture is perfect, but it's quite the opposite here. Um, don't know why. So there, for me, there's something wrong in the gaming mode. That's my opinion, because the gaming mode has 422, which is far better than 420, far better. If you uh, remember my video, what I've done, and I showed you the, the graphs, 422 has much more color information, much more information. So there shouldn't be almost no difference to 444. I told you this. 420, absolute divorce. We should expect a lot of yeah, problems and even now, because so people claiming this is, you can't use this. There's no issue with this 
um, text at the moment because the text is scaled, okay? A text is scaled. You're not seeing any difference between RGB and 420 at this very moment on this screen, okay? I'm not saying that there is a there isn't any uh, difference, there is a big difference. This is a war signal. Full stop, RGB is the way to go or 444. But the gaming mode on the LG ZX has an issue in my opinion. Because as soon you you change the settings from 60 to 120 Hz or HDR, you have this massive bending. The PC mode is the only thing what the PC mode is doing is switching uh, from 422 to 444 and disabling a couple of things in the background we don't know. This can also be an issue or be the resolution or yeah, solution, not resolution, solution. Because the PC mode is disabling things in the background like the color management and stuff like that. What we don't know, what exactly gets disabled from the picture uh, enhancement or whatever you should call this, okay? So again, for me, this is not the proof that the PC mode is better, this is a proof for me that the game mode is buggy. That's the only proof for me because you shouldn't have this bending in the game mode in 422 with an RGB input and then when you uh, change to 60 Hz and you have an input from 420 and you uh, have the same game mode 422 and you have no bending anymore. This is not how it works. Not at all. Again, I would appreciate if some of you guys can do some testing on their OLEDs, maybe uh, the C9 or the B9 or maybe even with a different firmware. Just remember we had a recent firmware upgrade, the, um, what was it, 0.16 at the end? I can't remember, was it 11.16? Oh, sorry, don't quote me. No, I think 30.16? I don't know, I really don't know. I will put it in the video. But anyway, this was a recent firmware update and we know that LG changed something in uh, Dolby Vision in terms of the uh, black crush. So maybe, I'm just, as, I'm just guessing here, you know what I mean? Maybe something went wrong with the gaming mode, something I'm not sure. But people claiming this, of course, before this firmware update happening happened. So maybe I'm just wrong in this and this was on the TV since ever, since I bought it and I just didn't see it. I just found it now because now I was looking for it. And of course, the, the thing is why I haven't found it so far probably is, first of all, when I'm playing something, I'm recording as well. This means the output is always 60 Hertz because the ca capture card, there's no point to record in 120 Hertz because I can't show you this on, on YouTube, okay? So it's fixed to 60 Hertz. And also I just recently started to play in HDR. So all those factors can be, of course, that I was not aware of this issue at all. But again, this is for me a buggy game mode. This has nothing to do with 422 or 444 because you shouldn't have this improvement or this war spending between those modes. Not at all. So I hope maybe one of the big channels with more technical equipment can do some more research on this, uh, do some testing because Again, in my opinion, the game mode is bucky on the LG uh, CX because it shouldn't be like that. But just, just think about what's what's happening. So we forcing or we changing the TV into 60, 60 hertz and no HDR. We are using less bandwidth. The Xbox is still outputting in 40 gigabits per second, uh, but we losing we using less bandwidth because uh, RGB. Um, now what, what I was going to say, 60 hertz versus 120 hertz, of course, uses less bandwidth. When you activate HDR on top, uses even more bandwidth, okay? okay? So it can be, of course, that the gaming mode is struggling at this very moment with all this information and it will reduce something into internally we don't know yet. I'm just making up assumptions here, but uh, again, gaming mode for me, Bucky, this is not the proof that the PC mode is better. But again, if you like to have the best picture quality, go for the PC mode, have 444, you're absolutely fine to do this. But still there's something very, very buggy and I like to know what, because I like to use the gaming mode, because I like to use the color correction, because in the PC mode I can't use it um, at all and I like to show you what I mean. We're changing this back to, uh, we are here I think, we're changing this back to PC and I'm very sorry that this video is so long today. But I hope you will watch it and uh, understand what I'm trying to say you to you. 
And by the way, so now I'm forced this into the PC mode and I clearly can see that the color range changed from outer to white. I clearly can see this on the red, on the green. I mean, this is the first uh, thing what I don't like and I hope I'm wrong that uh, in my uh, opinion that, and by the way, OLED light of course uh, is uh, usually, no, sorry, this is SDR, not HDR. Sorry, I was wrong. Just forget this. But anyway, just uh, we go to advanced. See, color gamut is changed to white. I can't change this to auto. So in the PC mode, this is a no-go for me. You know what I mean? So I mean, every calibrator would agree with me. This has to be on auto at the moment. White is completely wrong at the moment. We're talking about SDR signal and not even HDR. And even in HDR, it is not correct to put it on white because you don't know what the input, what the color information, what you get is, um, if you need white actually. So leave it to the, to, the, to the TV to decide this. But this is a big problem. I can't change this back. And not just stick at this. I don't have the color management options and I like to color correct my, my uh, picture. So again, the PC mode has just disadvantages for me. But I can understand when people using them because of to getting a better picture quality. But this is still, I can't see a difference. I can't see a difference. Anyway, I will finish this video because I think it's already too long. Do me a favor, do some testing, write it in a comment. And if you're new to this channel, of course, subscribe as always. And I see you next time with more testing. And I will do more testing in terms of HDR and uh, yeah stuff like that on Hitman 3. Thank you very much for watching me. I see you next time. Bye.